when Victor exposed the middle legs of deceased ripple bugs to water, the fan opened instantly, proving these fans don't require any energy to deploy. One of the implications is that if they are rowing all day long, so if they are using the muscle every time, it will be very costly, you know? And by reducing that cost, they are making more efficient the rowing. Their self-deploying and self-storing oars save ripple bugs a tremendous amount of energy while making them fast and highly maneuverable. And it turns out, such traits are highly sought after in the world of robotics. So when Victor discovered the ingenious architecture of the ripple bugs' middle legs, he passed his findings along to a team of roboticists at Ajo University in South Korea. Using Victor's findings, this tech-savvy team designed and built a ripple bug robot. With the robot, the team was able to confirm Victor's findings that self-morphing fans improved thrust, braking, and maneuverability. Not just the biomechanics, the fluid dynamics, but also trying to integrate the, the micro-robotics to understand better the biology. These robots may be used for different technological applications. For example, monitoring of the water conditions, of the environmental conditions, for sensing the temperature in, in rivers or streams. 